I highly recommend you to go through all the videos of this series just before the day of examination so that the concepts will be fresh in your mind. If you missed question number 1 to 40, please check my previous parts on this series. This question is about side to side VPN. Looks interesting. Let's look at first option A that is Azure Firewall. Firewall can help protect against malicious activities like cross site scripting. Firewall has nothing to do with configuration of BGP as required here in the question. Hence, this is an incorrect choice. Let's now look at option B. Option B says local network gateway. Local network gateway is required to represent on-premises VPN device. This can be one of the potential answer. We'll keep this. Let's look at option C. There is no mention of private subnet or private IP addresses or not instance in the question. Therefore, we don't need NAT gateway. This is an incorrect choice. Well, let's look at option D now that is VPN gateway. Seems interesting. VPN gateway looks another possible answer because we need to connect with the local network gateway because we need to correct answer. Seems like we got our answers and let's verify this in the official documentation as I always verify or cross check my answer to stabilize a cross premises connection as this was required as per the question. We need to create a local network gateway. This was one of the answer to represent your on premises VPN device and a connection to connect the VPN gateway with the local network gateway. If you look in another documentation, here are the steps for it. And here also the same thing is written. That is VPN gateway is there and creation of local network gateway is there. Therefore, we log B and D as the correct answer. All right, this seems to be interesting question in the real world exam. You will get this type of thing and you got to select the drop down. Three to four options will appear. Let's first tackle option A or box one that is number of subnets. We got to decide the number of suitable subnet. We need to have one dedicated subnet for Azure SQL managed instance, another one dedicated subnet for Azure App Service and virtual machine should have a separate subnet of their own because we got to keep the virtual machine somewhere, right? That somewhere is nothing but another subnet. If we sum up, it comes out to be one plus one plus one that is equal to three. Therefore, three subnets are required all of a total. We'll log three here. Let's now look at box two that is number of virtual networks. Since all these subnets can exist in a single virtual network, Therefore, we require just one virtual network. And if you look at the official documentation, this is very important with respect to the exam. You got to remember like which services require dedicated subnet because this might come in handy and I'll check your knowledge in a while. For the interest of the question, we are just concerned about as a SQL managed instance, it's written we need a dedicated subnet and for web app, it's also required. Yes, therefore, we require different subnets and we'll log these as the correct answer. Let's first look at option A that is network virtual appliances. Network virtual appliances don't need a dedicated subnet. This we can chalk this out. Let's look at option B that is application gateway WAF. Application gateway requires a dedicated subnet for sure. This can be one of the potential answer. We'll keep this because we need to correct answer. Don't just pass your ID certification. Pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the PDF exclusively meant for diamond members become a member now by clicking the join button to unlock this perk let's now look at option c that is azure active directory domain services azure active directory domain service falls under the category of identity which don't require a dedicated subnet therefore this seems to be incorrect we'll reject this azure bastion needs a dedicated subnet seems like we arrive at the two answer and i've marked the correct ones with a yellow highlighter and the incorrect ones with the red pen, you can have a look at this and we'll lock B and D as the correct answer for this. All right, this question will test your concepts on Azure Traffic Manager. Let's first look at option C, that is 2A records which maps www.amit.com to 123.77.100.1 and 200.1 IP addresses. A records are not supported for Azure Traffic Manager. Seems incorrect option. We'll reject this. Let's now look at option D first. TXT record, which contains string of dot amit.com and another dot amit.com in the details. Root domain mapping like amit.com is again not supported. Therefore, is an incorrect choice. Let's now look at option A and B together. Both contains C name record, but the difference lies 
here in the trafficmanager.net and azure fd.net since only cname records are supported when we configure a domain name using the azure traffic manager endpoint option b is a valid answer because it contains dot traffic manager dot net hence we'll reject option a if you look at the official documentation it's written when you use azure traffic manager to load balanced traffic to azure app service the app can be accessed using traffic manager endpoint which is nothing but dot traffic manager dot net that's what is required hence we'll log b as the correct answer all right this question will test your concept on point to side vpn Let's first look at option A. Option A says open VPN protocol. Open VPN is supported on the virtual network gateway for creating a point to side VPN connection. This can be one of the potential answer. We'll keep this option aside. Let's look at option B and C together. Option B says SHA-256 and C says MD5. Message digest 5, MD5 and SHA-256 are hashing standards. Hashing standards cannot be used to create an IPsec tunnel. They are used to validate the integrity of the data instead. Therefore, B and C are definitely incorrect. Let's now look at option D, Ike V2 VPN. We need to correct answer. Let's just verify last option for the timing. Ike V2 VPN provides encryption and security services. We can use any of these security protocols to stabilize the VPN connection from the client to the Azure Virtual Network Gateway. Seems interesting and we'll lock A and D as the correct answer for this. All right, this question is related to point to side VPN and authentication method. Let's first look at option C that is Azure Databricks. Databricks is a data analytics platform which uses SQL. This is no way an authentication method as required here in the question. Therefore, it's an incorrect choice. Let's now look at option D. Option D says Azure Key Vault. Key Vault is used to encrypt keys and passwords. Key Vault has nothing to do with stabilizing a secure connection as required here in the question. Again, an incorrect choice. Let's now look at option B. Option B says radius. Radius provides an authentication method as required here by the question. Seems good. But the problem with radius is that it uses open VPN. But as per the question, we do not need to use an open VPN. Therefore, quite doesn't match with the question. Therefore, we can reject this as well and lock a self-signed certificate authority as the correct answer. All right, we have interesting question related to migration let's first look at option a azure firewall firewall is meant to protect against malicious activities like cross-site scripting firewall cannot be used to connect on-premise data center to azure cloud as required here in the question therefore a is definitely incorrect let's now look at option b that is private link service private link allows customers on networks to connect to other azure service over a private connection but it has nothing to do with connecting with on-premise and cloud during migration again an incorrect choice let's now look at option c option c says site-to-site -side vpn interesting Site-to-site -side VPN utilizes public internet connection which certainly we don't want because I have highlighted in the black that cannot utilize public internet. Therefore, option C is an incorrect choice. We are left off with just option D, express route. Since express route provides dedicated connectivity from on-premise to cloud without using public internet, therefore it seems to be perfect fit for the question and we'll log this. Okay, this question is about RDP and SSL. Let's first look at option C, Azure Databricks. Databricks is totally out of context as it's an data analytics platform. Seems incorrect, we'll reject this. Let's first now look at option D that is Azure Front Door. Front Door cannot be used to connect virtual machines through RDP or SSH over SSL. Therefore, again, an incorrect choice. We are left out with A and B. Let's first look at option A, that is Radius Server. Radius is a network protocol which protects a network by allowing centralized dial-in user authentication and authorization. The question is not about authentication and authorization in any way if we read the question, right? Therefore, it's an incorrect choice. We'll reject this. And if you look at the official documentation, it's written Azure Bastion is a full managed service that provides more secure and seamless remote desktop protocol which is also known as RDP and secure shell protocol SSH access to virtual machines since RDP and SSH and uh, these were the keywords 
therefore we'll lock these as the correct answer all right this question is about vnet to vnet type connection let's first look at option a that is tls tls is used to perform encryption over tcp communication channels cannot be used to set up a vnet to vnet vpn connection between two virtual networks as required by the question here therefore an incorrect choice if you like the way i explained please hit the thumbs up button because a lot of hard work goes in while making these videos let's now look at option b that is secure socket tunneling protocol sstp sstp is a tla's based virtual private network protocol which can be used to establish point to site vpn connection but cannot be used for vnet to vnet connection again an incorrect choice let's now look at option c hypertext transfer protocol http http cannot be used to create a tunnel between two virtual networks therefore won't fit the question we'll reject this and we'll lock d ipsec as the correct answer for this all right this question will test your concepts on load balancing very important topic with respect to exam let's first look at option c that is nat gateway nat gateway is no way related to any kind of load balancing solution as required by the question therefore an incorrect choice let's now look at option a option a says azure load balancer azure load balancer works on layer 4 of the osi model as per the question there is a mention of url path which means that the solution should support layer 7 of the OSI model. This is an incorrect option, we'll reject this. Let's now look at option B first, that is the Azure Traffic Manager. Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS based load balancing solution, which can help with traffic routing to Azure Virtual Machine and as well as external networks. As per the question, there is no mention of DNS based load balancing and hence this is again an incorrect choice. We are left out with option D that is Azure Application Gateway. We know that it works on layer 7 of the OSI model, perfectly fits for the question and will log D as the correct answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet in part 6 of AZ700 which got to be more interesting. 